You are watching Sammy the Interviewing Toucan, made possible by the Indiana Young Reader Center. Do, 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 do. Good morning, everyone. Hello there, or I guess we don't have to say good morning. We can say good whatever. Good morrow, citizens. My name is Sammy, and I'm here today with an Indiana author, Rob Harrell. Hi, Rob. Hi, Sammy. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm, I'm doing really well. Everything's going well here. Oh, that's so great to hear. Yes. So as you know, we're just doing a whole series of interviews with Indiana authors. So to start out, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your connection to Indiana? Yeah, well, I uh, was born and raised in Bloomington, Indiana, uh, and I lived there for you know, a good part of my life and then moved to Indianapolis for a while and then um, moved off to Texas for about 12 years down to Austin, Texas. And then my wife and I moved back. We've been back here about four years and we're in Zionsville. In oh, wow. Austin must have been kind of an adventure. It was. It was a big adventure. We saw a lot of live music and uh, we had a good time down there. It was fun. That's so great. Um, so one of the things that we're talking about with all of our authors is their writing. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about your writing? And I understand, I've got one of your books right here. This is Monster Hill. Um, yes. If you want to tell us a little bit about Monster Hill, and then I'm especially excited to hear about your new book, Wink. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I, I started out um, as an illustrator, actually, but then eventually I moved into uh, doing comic strips. So I've done, I did one called Big Top about a circus, and then uh, I now do one called Adam at Home, so it's a daily, daily comic strip. Um, and then I, I decided I wanted to try to branch out from that, so I, I uh, did my graphic uh, graphic novel Monster on the Hill, uh, and then I went from there. I did I went on to do uh, Life of Zarf, which was a hybrid series about a troll in middle school and a yeah. fairy tale world. Those uh, are super so fun. We have those so at the Indiana right Young Reader Center. Ah, good. Well, yes, they were, they were really fun to, to write, and uh, Zarf was a fun character. And then, uh, and then after that, I, I, I decided to tackle something a little bit, uh, a little bit more serious, but also fun and funny, um, I, 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 which is my book, Wink, which uh, I have here. So. Oh, I love the cover. It looks great. Yeah, that's Ross. There. Aww. Can you tell us a little bit about the book? I understand it's got some personal connections. It does. Uh, it, not to get too heavy, but uh, years ago, while we were living in Texas, uh, I, I found out I had cancer. Um, so, and I had to go through eight weeks of treatment. It was an eye cancer. Um, so the book is based on that, loosely based on that. It's, he goes, Ross finds out he's diagnosed with the same cancer and he, uh, he's about to go into seventh grade and uh, he's just wants to blend in, but suddenly he's the sick kid. Oh. But the book is actually kind of funny because it's told through Ross's point of view and you get his interesting perspective. Well, and seventh grade boys seem to be kind of a funny lot in general. Right, right. It's tough enough when, when things are going normal and, and, then, and then this gets thrown on poor Ross. But, Absolutely. Uh, wow. Yeah, but he, he makes the best of it. That's good. You yeah. know, it reminds me of our, our current situation that we're all under, which is this pandemic. So can you tell us a little bit about how you're coping with the current health crisis and maybe do you have any advice for people? Yeah, you know, um, my life hasn't changed dramatically in that I, you know, I work from home and uh, so I'm still working from home. I do like to go out and write and I can't do that. Um, but, but I will say that uh, I think one of the important things is just to, to be kind of easy on yourself. And, and if, uh, if you want to take a nap, Take a nap. I take, I will occasionally, and or if you want to sit down and read a book on the front porch, I think, uh, you know, you set aside time uh, to turn off the news, get away from whatever you need to do, and and do something that you want to do. I think I think that's really important. And and in the book, you know, Ross deals with some things by he likes to draw. He has a sketchbook he draws in, or he likes to. Um, play guitar. He, he gets into music in the book um, and, and then starts taking guitar lessons and that's really fun. So, you know, music, art, uh, and also just having a sense of humor about things. And, and lost as well. yeah. I think those are all great. Um, drawing, playing guitar, all things that require hands. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. You know, I can just okay. take a nap. That's 
Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, good. That's right. something to do. <laughs> we'll go eat a bowl of Fruit Loops. Um, yeah, that's a great you know, idea. You know that too, Ken? Do you know uh, we don't toucan? we don't talk about that at all. So okay. Okay. you know okay. we don't want to bring that up. <laughs> well, Rob, let's talk a little bit more about you and your author journey. Tell us where you are in that journey and where you want to be. Uh, you know, I, I slowly over the past ten or twelve years uh, sort of started morphing from an artist who likes to write to more of a writer who who likes to draw, which sounds kind of the same thing but it's a little bit different I, sure. I uh, I'm finding how much I enjoy the writing um, so in some ways I feel like I'm just kind of at the beginning of this whole writing career I, I feel like um, or I hope it's a career uh, but you know I, I, I think uh, it's really exciting to think that uh, I don't know what comes next and and uh, I've got a couple of book ideas I'm working on um, but you know I, I'd like to write I'd like to try some different genres. I'd like to, you know, but uh, I think I'll always just kind of follow my energy and wh wherever I feel like um, I'm excited to write about something. And I also feel like it might, um, you know, I like how Wink uh, may offer some advice or, or some, some words of comfort to, to somebody who's in a tough situation or as a friend who's in a tough situation. Um, so I think that'll always be in the back of my mind too. Um, that's been really rewarding. Um, so yeah, I, I guess we'll just see. We'll see where things take me. It's so great when art and really like the humanities really help people, you know? Yeah, and it feels, it feels, um, it feels new to me. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I love my life with art books and, 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 uh, and I think there are some lessons in there and all that, but I, I will be fully honest. My, my main goal with that was to make them funny and, and fun and uh, sort of like a, an amusement park ride or something, you know, and and, uh, sure. and then with Wink, uh, sure. I definitely settled into something that was a little more, uh, had a little more weight, and uh, I think I like it. I think I like it. Good. Yeah. That's so great. Yeah. Um, so for the last thing, I'm inviting all of my authors to share just something from their life. Do you have something you want to share with our viewers? I do. So so when I went through my cancer experience, and, and Ross in the book, when he goes through his experience, uh, I had to wear a hat uh, mm -hmm. for like for a, in a year, basically. And I had to wear it everywhere I went, whether it was in class, well, in, for Ross, it's in class, but, you know, outside, inside, because you have to keep the sun off of where you're being treated. Um, and this is ah, the hat. And that's so, so cool. Yeah, it, was, it was, well, it wasn't cool at the time. I was kind of embarrassed to have to wear it everywhere. Um, I will say this isn't the actual hat. I, I the, the actual hat kind of fell apart. These straw hats kind of leave a trail and, and fall apart over time. So this is a hat that I found in a store that looked exactly like the one I used to wear. It's not the same size, so it doesn't fit my big head. Ah. But that is uh, just like the hat that I had to wear and Ross has to wear. I, I imagine that in seventh grade, really anything that sets you apart from your peers is, is going to be a challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, and, you know, Ross also has to deal with his hair falling out and things like that. Oh. So, uh, He's got a lot of big obstacles to overcome, but uh, I, I will say, for the most part, he handles it with a sense of humor. There are a few times where it gets on top of him, but uh, I, I think it's a fun one, though, because uh, he, you know, your sense of humor doesn't shut off in those times, so he still sees the funny in some things. Too. Wow, that sounds so great. I can't wait to read it. I can't wait to uh, share it with more people. So thank you so much for doing this, and we'll talk to you again soon, all right? Hey, thank you so much, Sammy. Okay, bye, Rob. Okay.